It looks as though that Apollo 11 crew will head for the moon July 16 as scheduled. There have been some talk that the flight of astronauts Armstrong, Collins, and Aldrin would be postponed. But today in Washington, the space agency said preparations continue for the target date. Officials noted, however, that any major problems between now and launch could still cause a postponement. Apollo 11 will be launched as scheduled on July 16th. Four days later, on the afternoon of the 20th, two of the astronauts aboard the lunar module will land on the moon. Early the next morning, on July 21st, 1969, man will actually set foot on the moon. Today's decision to go as scheduled put an end to speculation that there might have to be a month's postponement. The command module for the Apollo flights are manufactured by North American Rockwell at Downey, California. From there, ABC science editor Jules Bergman reports. It's a go for a July 16th blast-off for a lunar landing. A go made possible by the flawless performance of Apollo 10 around the moon. But the space agency is on the tightest schedule it's ever had, a schedule so tight that almost anything going wrong will force a delay into August or September. The Saturn V, Apollo spacecraft, and Lunar Bug are ready at pad 39, ready so far. But much intensive checkout remains, and small bugs have left only four days of makeup time for problems. The biggest problem is crew training, the intensive simulation that Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Mike Collins have left to do. They've been working six days a week, 12 hours a day, and they're tired but feel they can make it. Why the sweat? Why not slip a month to August? The space agency feels its men are keyed up, and a postponement might lower morale. And it's also determined to keep the late President John Kennedy's promise of a lunar landing in this decade by the end of the year. But it'll take a lot of luck and skill to make the landing in July. This is Jules Bergman, ABC, at North American Rockwell, Downey, California. The space agency did announce one small change in the timetable for the moon mission. Two extra orbits of the moon have been added, one before the lunar landing and one after. The first, for improved communications at the historic moment of landing, and the second, for decontamination purposes. Apollo 11 astronauts Neil Armstrong, Edwin Aldrin Jr., and Michael Collins today received a go-ahead from the space agency to try for a July 16th launch. If all goes well, Apollo 11's lunar module will land on the moon on July 20th, and Armstrong will become the first human to set foot on the moon just after midnight on the 21st. At Cape Kennedy today, the Apollo 11 spacemen and their craft passed the final rehearsal for the trip aimed at putting man on the moon for the first time. David Cohen reports. The actual trip to the moon begins July 16, but for spaceship commander Neil Armstrong, this was the final dry run rehearsal. Fellow astronaut Edwin Aldrin is checked out with the headgear he will use on the flight. And spaceman Michael Collins was looking a bit bored with the drill. The trio followed every detail of the launch day timetable. They were awakened at 4.30 a.m. and their schedule was exactly controlled through the run through. The three men who will take Apollo 11 to the moon spent more than two and a half hours in their spaceship on top of its Saturn V rocket. They went through every sequence of the liftoff, just as if they were actually beginning this first moon landing expedition. The astronauts will spend the July 4 weekend with their families. Then next week they will begin the final nine days of flight preparations. David Cohane, CBS News, reporting. The White House announced today that President Nixon will not, as previously planned, dine with the Apollo 11 astronauts the night before they begin their journey to the moon on July 16th. The astronaut chief physician, Dr. Charles Berry, had expressed concern that what he called an element of germ contamination might be involved. America's space monkey, Bonnie, has been ordered back to Earth tonight. Bonnie was sent into orbital flight nine days ago to determine the effects of long space flights the space agency had hoped to keep the, the monkey aloft for several weeks, but last night Bonnie began refusing to drink his water. He's become sluggish, as they say, so tonight the monkey is going to be brought down south of Hawaii. President Nixon Day canceled plans, canceled plans to eat with the Apollo 11 astronauts the night before they leave for the moon. Space officials don't want to expose them to any germs, not even the president. The astronauts returned to Cape Kennedy after a weekend with their families in Houston and began their final week of training for the moon mission. Bonnie, a monkey sent into space eight days ago to determine the effect of long flights, will be brought down tonight. 
Space officials decided to end the 30-day mission when the monkey became sluggish and unresponsive. Bonnie, the space monkey lifted into orbit eight days ago, was ordered brought back to Earth tonight because space officials are worried about his health. He seemed sluggish and was not drinking his water. The monkey was supposed to remain in space for 30 days to test how long flights affect the body.